Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I wanted to do a, um, I guess like a review and what's in my bag for the Gucci Soho Disco Bag. Um, I have mine in the black color. And this is it right here. It is packed. So um, I acquired this, I really don't know. I wanna say right before the price increase, it was maybe in the fall. I think I got this right during the fall time, this fall that just passed. Um, and I, I got it for 980, I believe, before tax. And then they raised it to like 1190 or 1180 or something like that. Now, I'm not sure the exact price, but I got it right like literally a day before the price increase. And I've always eyed this bag, but I just, I don't know why I never bit the bullet, but come to find out, I love it to death. This is like the most awesomest, yes, I made up a word, awesomest bag ever for every day. Um, I actually had the, because I had a lot of questions about it, I had the um, Gucci Dionysus um, mini bag in the all leather black which is like a unicorn and I had to return it because um the the glazing started to peel or shed or something it was like really weird so I had to return it and I exchanged it and just got this and I don't regret it so um I've been wearing this bag a lot since I got it and I must say I love it it looks like it doesn't fit a lot but it does I know it's a million and gazillion thousand videos. Yes, I made that up. A million gazillion thousand videos out there reviewing this bag or unboxings. It's an older bag, but I'm just now getting to it. And I must say that, um, you know, I remember when I first saw this bag, it was like 880 or something like that. And then it shot up to 980 and now it's like 1100. So... And I'm kind of in my feelings about Gucci because their items are a little bit too much in my opinion. Like, I mean, I understand they're trying to compete with Louis Vuitton, but to me, their pieces are a little bit too trendy for the price. You know it's not going to last a long time as far as the style. Um, but I can say their shoes and belts. I have a lot of their shoes and belts, and those are classic pieces that I've had at least 10 years. And they are doing just fine. And I'm not going to lie. I find myself playing with this tassel. Um, you know what, guys? This is why I held off on this bag. Uh, when I grew up, I grew up in the era when the Chanel was really popular for the camera type bags. And I didn't never like this shape. I like either a very square bag or like a hobo style bag. And this had that look. And that's why I held off on the Pochette Matisse all the time because it reminded me of when I was growing up and it had that like business look and I didn't want a bag that was very business. So I held off and now I want the bag and I'm kind of mad that I um, didn't get it when it was cheaper. But even the Gucci Dionysus, um, that bag, you know, I liked it, but I didn't like the flap constantly trying to hook it in there. And I find myself really worrying about the um the the jewels on it. And it's like you that's where they put the jewels where you're gonna touch it the most. And over time I was kind of scared I would lose one. So I felt I was kind of uncomfortable with it. And then the chain didn't it was like either too hot or too cold. Like I don't know, whenever I would wear it in the summer, when it was hot, it was like the chain would be like really, really hot. Or it is sit in the air conditioner and I put it on and it's like really, really cold because I wear tank tops all the time. So it was just weird, but I don't have that issue with this and I'm like talking way too much. So let's look at what is in here. Disclaimer, I do not really know what's in here in any order, but usually I'm very spontaneous. I just pop up and I'm like, I'm going to make a video and I just set up my camera and record a video and upload it. I don't edit videos. So this is what you get. Kind of got to look into it before I show you. Every video, you know, something falls. So let's pray that nothing falls out. But 
there's what's in it. So to start, I have my keys. And then I have, oh, let me stick this in here because I don't want you guys to see that. Okay, so then I have my um, Gucci um, card holder. This is an older model. It's in a Gucci SEMA print. I love these card holders. I'm like so addicted to them. I, I just really like them. They hold so much, so, so much. But that fits in there. And then I have my Chanel O case. This is Pax in the Max. Let's see. I have like a lot of stuff in here. I maybe don't want you to see. I don't. But it's going to fall if I like show you. But there's stuff in there. It's a lot of this thing is like jam packed to the max. So this is what it looks like so far. It's in there. So it's in, in two. It has like this linen cream color interior. I don't really like that because it's going to get really dirty. But I do like the, the gold color. It's not like too yellow. And then I have the Bath and Body Works lotion. I have my trusty um, round coin purse. I have lipstick. I have a compact mirror. And what do you call it? It's for when my face gets oily. It's by Guerlain. It's like a, a translucent powder. I have my glasses case in here, but I don't have glasses. This is what it's looking like so far. Um, I have some stuff that fell out, maybe. I have a lip pencil, perfume, same stuff you guys see all the time. Hair tie, Benadryl. I have this um, lipstick. I have, what else is down there? It looks like nothing. Um, I just obtained this thing here, and if you follow me on, let's see, hope that makes it look better. So if you follow me on Instagram, it was like a really funny story behind it, but I got it as a gift. It ended up being a gift from, uh-oh, yeah. So it ended up being a gift from my sister, but I thought it was going to be a coworker. But it's just called the Ulysses um, Notebook Cover. It's in like this rouge color. It looks like a deep berry wine color. Um, it's in the Togo leather. It's very tiny. Um, I'm trying to like give you a comparison or something to kind of see. It's like really tiny. Um, it's maybe like a four by four. Yeah, maybe four by four. Um, it came with this. I don't know if you buy it separate or not, but this paper feels like awesome and thick. But it comes with like lined paper, spiral paper. And you just like kind of unbuckle and click it. You, these refills are like 40 bucks, I think she said. So, and that's what it looks like there. But it's just a piece of leather and... That's in the back, and that's how it hooks, the notebook hooks to the um, leather. Um, I use this to keep information for my bills in here. I always wanted, like, something to, like, keep my bill information. I have a, a, a agenda that I use every day for that, but I needed, I'm not going to really discuss it, but I needed this, and she was, like, right on time for it, but I said, thank you, big sister. Um, so that's it. And then in here, it's a it's two pockets on each side. And then this came out of this pocket here. And this is just the Chanel double facket mirror, or double faced mirror. Um, what's down here? Looks like I have a chewable vitamin C tab and some change. There we go. Put it back. There's nothing in there right now. And here I have a pen. And just to kind of give you, a, this is a Tiffany pen. 
kind of give you an idea. It goes sideways, but it's a little bit taller than that piece. So it's very tiny. Um, but it does a job for me. I have coupons for Express and, and it, yeah, that's all Express. I have a receipt, another receipt, a mint, my famous poopery. I used up the other one. That's like so bad because it means I really take a lot of shits. And then I have. I hope it's no little kids around. If a little kid walk past, the first word is going to be shit. So <laughs> then I have some more coins. I dropped something. It was a penny. So that is it. That is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag in the black leather. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just kind of wanted to show you what I keep inside of it and what I felt. I think it's an awesome bag for every day. It's a crossbody. I have mine on the very first um hole that's available. I need mine kind of short. I'm only five feet tall. So, um, but it's very lightweight. Um, it's, it's awesome. It kind of does lose its shape over time, but stuff like that doesn't bother me because I like, like, hobo type stuff where it's not so structured. It doesn't bother me, but this bag fits a lot and it really, really does, um, do what I needed to do every day. I've carried this every day at work. So I'm using it at work and it's doing um, the job. So thanks Gucci for being so awesome. So I'm just loading it back up just in case anybody wanted to see. I need to put the stuff on the bottom. I don't want on the bottom first. Just throw that stuff back in there. And bloop, bloop, bloops. Put my mirror back in that little thing of my bobbies. Now, my coin purse, I kind of put that on the side because I want to be able to get in and out of it with the because I use these two pieces the most the card holder and the O case. I use those the most, but I don't even know I have two lipsticks. And then this little thing I keep on the side too. And then I just put my keys on top. And I can even fit my 6 Plus in there too with no problem with all this in it. Real talk. True story. So there you go. It zips with no issue. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later.